So I'm with Dr. Gavin McGregor Skinner, who's now with ISSA and GBAC and is going to help us to save lives together as we provide guidance to the cleaning industry and the world in general. Uh, Gavin, we rolled out the GBAC STAR accreditation program recently, and I, I imagine you were part of that uh, process. Tell us a little bit about what that will mean for facilities and for people who visit them, the big picture. Yeah, sure. So, so a great group of colleagues, friends have come together over the last few months, Jeff, and actually looked at what are the gaps, what are the needs within the cleaning uh, industry, the restoration industry, and how could we help facilitate filling some of those gaps. So that led to the birth of the Global Bio, Bio Risk um, Advisory Council, the GBAC, the GBAC STAR program. And the GBAC STAR program is going to focus on training, where we focus on skills, competencies, methodologies that are evidence-based, but also safety. And it's about developing a culture of safety for those frontline house, uh, house cleaning staff and uh, frontline even restoration workers. So it's important that we try to go to scale. And this is, the, this is what, I, what I see within the cleaning industry is that there are wonderful tools, wonderful pieces of equipment, wonderful products, disinfectants with great chemistry that years of research, but it's how to take those best practices to scale, which is what we need right now, and this is what GBAC Star will help facilitate and, and partner with others to do, to go to scale to train those, those house cleaning staff to a level of skills and companies that they probably haven't re reached before. So how do they safely put on personal protected protection equipment and how do they safely take off personal protection equipment? The other part of GBAC Star is as we go to scale with training and best practices, how do we then def define and work with specialized teams? And these are like our SWAT teams our high, uh, high profile, highly skilled teams that are able to be deployed and their GBAC um, are certified, they're able to be deployed for emergency situations. And I see emergency situations all the time where there's a risk to safety. And it's important that we, have, we can have those teams in a regional, region, uh, located throughout different regions of the US and to be able to be deployed when the level of risk through a risk assessment has determined that the cleanup, disinfection, restoration of the building is above the normal skills that the cleaning staff have. So this risk ass assessment is something that uh, GBAC provides or has guidelines on? Yeah, no, this is about teaching everyone how to do their risk assessments, how to do, identify hazards, and how to do risk assessments. And the way that I explain risk assessments to my students when I teach at universities is that risk is the likelihood of something happening and the consequence if that event happens. And a lot of people that I work with in the clean industry go, yeah, I, we do risk assessments once a year. We do them once a month. No, this is about doing risk assessments every time, every part of the, your work you do every day. If I go into a different room, what's my risk assessment for that room compared to the risk assessment I'm going to go into the next room? What is my risk assessment if I'm going into a room where there is a positive COVID-19 patient or where there's a, a, a patient that has vomiting and diarrhea and I'm about to clean up that and I don't know what it is. I have an unknown disease. So this is about uh, creating a culture of uh, risk, safety, and ensuring that people can use risk assessment tools to identify, I need to protect my hands. I need to protect my eyes, nose, and mouth from germs, pathogens, bacteria, viruses, mold, fungi, whatever it may be, and ensure that based on that risk assessment, we then put on the appropriate personal protective equipment. When we use cleaning tools, we then appropriately clean and disinfect those pieces of equipment before we move into another area of cleaning. And that's what we're all about. It's about, again, a culture of safety through a lens of conducting risk assessments. Yeah, the circling back, that's great. Circling back to GBAC STAR and its impact, I just think that that's going to be fantastic for the world. You know, this is a global program. It's not just something for the United States. And we have many um, who have embraced it. We have stadiums, we have cities, uh, we have convention centers that are doing that. So, you know, we have to think as a consumer, as a visitor, when you see that GBAC STAR seal, uh, that seal that shows that they've embraced all of these things we're talking about, that's got to give some confidence to people, and that's going to be important. It has to, Jeff, because in my experience, and this is you know, in this year, in 2020, dealing with COVID-19, when I go to a hotel, a restaurant, a hospital, a nursing home, and I sit down with you know the executive 
managers, the directors, the, 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 the high level decision makers and say, well, where's your COVID-19 team? Where's your infection prevention control team? And they bring the team together. And I went, where's the house? Where's the house cleaning staff? Well, they're not part of the team. And I keep saying to them, they're the only people in your facility right now that have the necessary ammunition, the weapon that can kill this virus is your house cleaning staff. They have EPA registered disinfectants. They have cleaning tools and equipment that they will use to inactivate this virus. They are, the, they are your frontline soldiers in killing this virus. Why aren't they on your team? And they're going, that's a good idea. So what's happened before I start my training, they've brought in the household cleaning staff. But so many facilities, and I, this is just, this is just being repeated in every, every, every sector, every facility, every organization I've worked with. They haven't thought this through enough. What's the problem, how to fix it. And they haven't brought the right people to the table. Our focus on GBAC star is to ensure that we focus on that team approach and we focus on those frontline workers. So folks that are um, interested in the GBAC star at the facilities can find that information on ISSA.com or GBAC.org. And uh, fantastic program. And I look forward to visiting all these places you talk about, hotels, not, not that I want to visit a hospital, but restaurants and all these, these cool places with that seal displayed as I walk in. I'll feel much better about it. But thank you, Gavin. And you're absolutely your right, Jeff. This is not a one size fits all. This is about solving problems in the real world and building the skills and competence and using the equipment that we have available to decrease the risk of infectious diseases. And also you know, look at what our definition is for clean and disinfect infection. I think it's very exciting. Yeah, it is. All right. Well, onward and keep saving lives out there.